Hello and welcome to another update video about NetGas. NetGas shows us a very, very impulsive looking decline right now. So it currently suggests after a gap down and a break of micro support that we are likely going to see another low. Another low hasn't formed yet. So another, let's say, um, yeah, another low in this overall correction that started a while ago has not yet formed, but it seems like we're getting there. Um, and that low that we originally wanted to see might happen in the end. Okay, so let's see. The idea was um, based on communication in recent weeks that we either bottomed here, put a long-term low in place here, which likely is not the case anymore, or we see one more low before the price should form a long-term low. Now, market gave us clarity now with a break um, below the support area communicated in the last video and that is very valuable knowledge because it indicates um, obviously it was on the February contract so the levels are now different but the break of support um, which was here which would have been on the March contract and now on the March contract uh, at 223 gives us a clue that yep something bearish is going on another low is likely coming and we want to explore in this video what the micro count would be and where support levels are and what the Fibonacci projections tell us and where things might be heading. So um, so that impulsive decline is, is quite clear. It definitely suggests here another low into the region below $2 from what I can see right now. So um, obviously, as I mentioned before, it is likely... We are likely in an area close to a long-term low, but um, obviously until we have a confirmed low in place, it's it's catching the falling knife. So what do we need to see for a confirmed low? First step is always a five-wave move above resistance, which happened here. Yeah, That's a, a possible five-wave move. Yeah, not the cleanest one, but a possible five-wave move to the upside. So we've seen that. And the second level of confirmation is a three-wave corrective pullback in support into the support zone, and it needs to hold support. Um, I typically give you, when we get into these support areas, um, a level that also then again needs to be broken to the upside to confirm that support is holding. That didn't happen. So that sort of confirmation never happened. Therefore, we just need to reset a little lower, wait for the next break above resistance. But looking at the microstructure, it suggests it's not quite finished, this move to the downside. So let's look at that. Let's go to the one hour chart and we see this quite impulsive decline. Um, I have to assume that a fourth wave topped here and this would then be a fifth wave to the downside, which produced here a one two setup, which is the, well, the wave two high here from the 11th of January around $2.65. And this move down looks quite impulsive. So it currently suggests that this is a third wave um, within wave five, obviously. Now, looking at the microstructure, we might say that this here is another one, two setup. This here is a three of three. I'm going to change the wave degree in a minute. And that gives us valuable information about possible resistances that now need to hold for the price to keep the downside pressure high. Basically, it's worth knowing where the resistance level is to understand when the trend is changing. Um, however, it should sit here. Uh, it depends. It doesn't really matter if it's here or here. But what we do now is take the length of that existing third wave and the first level that if broken indicates that something different is going on it's typically the 50 percent retracement and that's at two dollars and 31 so a sustained break from here above 231 would indicate that something more bullish is going on obviously that resistance level has to move down with the price as it goes lower at the same time if this wave four is starting it should get close to two dollars 26 or 231 but should not break above it or something different is going on like a more complex correction or the low is already in but then again I need to see five waves up above resistance um, then we should still see wave five of three and another four five 
And um, yeah, once I get a little bit more microstructure, for example, this fourth wave in place or this fourth wave, we can calculate the target for the next move to the downside. For now, I have absolutely no evidence that this smaller degree third wave is complete. So for now, the you know, they're just labels at the moment and um, resistance is not locked. It will have to move down with the price if we see a little bit more downside. Structural support exactly in this region here, around $2.10, $2.11. I would expect it to break, but maybe in this region, the way four is starting. Now, in terms of Fibonacci projections to the downside, possible next levels to watch as support below structural support are $1.98, $1.92 and $1.81. That's sort of how I see net gas at the moment. So this $2.31 level at the moment is critical. Um, should that level break, um, then the next resistance level is up here, the wave too high, that's critical, $2.52, but how it wants to do that from here, it's difficult. I mean, this is so far only a three wave move down. The only way I could imagine it's turning around now, it would mean that it's like the, another, a larger fourth wave, something like that, where it's forming an A B, C. That would be a bullish alternative from here, but because of the strong retracement, it seems unlikely now that it's turning around from here to start a substantial move up. It's a very shaky foundation the way this looks at the moment, but we'll see. Um, but again, you know, downside pressure remains high against $2.31. Okay, that's my update about NetGas. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you uh, are interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, then check out our stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.